A major renovation in the town of Poughkeepsie has disabled a popular thoroughfare. Spring Road, which connects Route 9 and Vassar, is under major repair and renovation. This is a project that has been bid out to, and Sun Up Enterprise, the local company, won the bid. We'll also be doing road projects during the summer that our own crews do. And we try to do a road in each ward. Our, our town is broken up into wards. I would estimate between paving and, and drainage work, the town will spend about a million dollars this year on, on road work. And road work's the type of thing where we could spend three times that and probably not have it all done. So there's always something to do, especially when we have a winter like we've had the last two. It's a tricky situation because Route 9 is a state road and Vassar is a county road, with Spring Road, a town road, acting as the connector. It's been a project that's been in the planning stages for about five to seven years. This is a $2 million project, but the town of Poughkeepsie is getting roughly $1.7 million from the federal government and another $300,000 from the state, leaving town residents with just a $100,000 repair bill. It takes a little longer with the governments, state and federal involved, but it was worth it, we felt, because we're able to leverage our money. But the road is getting much more than just an asphalt facelift. As you can see, it hasn't been repaved in a number of years, and really we wanted to wait until this project could take place before we you know, spent money on paving it, because we knew this was in the works for some time coming. In this area, you can see we've got some new uh, storm drains going in. In addition to the old being repaired and made whole again, we've got new drainage being put in. And the road on this end heading towards Route 9 will be widened just slightly. And it was very slick during storm events, so you can see here two new storm basins are being put in. And then as you go up the hill, the, the road, the actual height of the road will be lowered slightly and this bend will be taken out. You know, I used to live off this road, so I traveled Spring Road a lot, and this portion of the project is really going to be beneficial to all drivers coming through Spring Road because this was a bone of contention. This curve right here didn't look that menacing or dangerous, but for some reason the road was always slick. And what would happen is cars would come down, if they were going a little bit too fast, they would spin out and then they would go off into the woods. By evening this out a little bit, it's going to make traffic flow a lot better. The only concern is that once you have a new paved road, the tendency for drivers is to go a little faster. So watch it when you get on this road when it's done because they'll be looking for you. Because you can see, even though it's a, a major thoroughfare, a connection road, there's, there's homes on this road, there's mailboxes, people coming in and out of their driveways, getting their mail. So, you know, speed before the project and after will be an issue we'll have to be concerned about. The project is going fairly smooth now, but had a few hiccups at the beginning stages. Without proper signage in place to let oncoming traffic know that the road was closed, there were plenty of cars looking for a place to turn around. And with over 8,700 cars passing on Spring Road in a given day, that could turn into a lot of confusion. It took a couple of days for the town to put up the proper signs on Route 9 to alert drivers that if they made that right or left off Route 9, they're going to be in trouble. They put a sign up here, but across the street over here, there's really no sign if you're making the turn, a left turn, off Route 9 onto Spring Road. And once you get on Spring Road, then you hit the signs and you've got to turn around. So here's where it gets a little confusing. The people who live in this development live off of Spring Road, but also off of Vassar, so they can access each way and come out each way. But if you're here on Rowley, you get met with this sign that says you can't make a left turn. Those people then, if they wanted to go down to Red Oaks Mill, would have to go right and then come all the way around? Well, they can still, we, we've rescinded that no left turn order uh, for this project. So they can come out of Rally and take a left. So they still can access Vassar that way. But that no left turn lane that's been enforced for some time, we've rescinded for this project. So the sign's still up there, but the town police know not yeah. to give a ticket. Yeah, yeah, they know not to give a ticket. It says been suspended for the time being. What has been the reaction overall? Well, the, I think the reaction overall, as I said, uh, town residents are typically very supportive. They understand, it, it, although it's a big inconvenience for the folks, especially in this area, they've been supportive and I think understand that this road needs to get done. And the best way to do it and the safest way to do it is to close it to traffic. There is no doubt that this highly traveled road will be much better when it reopens in August and hopefully worth the wait. Sacrificing convenience for quality workmanship a safer and more drainage efficient roadway 
and doing it all at a fraction of the cost.